Good morning. Good morning, everyone. As I look around the church on this morning, there's plenty of room here. Great. As I look around the church on this morning, I see a lot of people wearing the color green. Anyone know why? Why are they wearing green? Oh, yes, it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> all right, some of us do and some of us don't, but we all can still have the spirit and joy of St. Patrick. Why? Because many, many years ago, when St. Patrick was just 16 years old, we know that he was kidnapped. And at that time, he lived in a part of, of the world that was called uh, Roman uh, Europe. And nevertheless, he was taken to Ireland. And he was able to escape and go back to his country. And during uh, this time, he, uh, be he was a minister, became a, a, he was a priest, he became a, a bishop, which was like a, a real big role. And guess what he did? He went back to the place that he, that he went back to Ireland where he was, he was uh, kidnapped and brought to. He went back there. And during that time, he evangelized. He told people about uh, the wonderful love of Jesus. And also during that time, hold that thought. Also, <laughs> also uh, during this time, he had a three-leaf clover. And he was known for explaining the Holy Trinity uh, to those that he came in contact with, with this three-leaf clover. Anyone know the three parts of the Trinity? Let's start. The Father and the Son, and what's the third part? The Holy Spirit. Very good. Very good. Are there leprechauns real? Are leprechauns real? I sure hope they are, because one day I want to find that pot of gold. But uh, <laughs> at the end of the rainbow, I think it's. Yes, I think it's more of a myth, but they are fun myths like that. So uh, today we will have the lighting of our Linton candle. Where's the, where are the? Wow, I, I, I heard of gold, but I, 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 I probably love the chocolate and the gold, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. Can everyone point to the, oh yes. Wow, wow, that is cool. <laughs> okay, all right. Can everyone point to where the Linton candles are? Where are they located? Uh, oh, there we are, yes, right over here. Great job. So now we would have the reading of our Linton candle. That's the baptismal font, but the Linton candle is here. And we will uh, extinguish one of the candles because we're getting closer and closer to Easter. So at this time, at this time, we'll have the reading. When we, arri when we arrived this morning, we entered into the normal bustle of a church on a Sunday morning. Friends greeting each other choir members getting their robes, children bringing their energy and enthusiasm. Now that we're sitting together in the pews, I invite you to close your eyes and consider the word sanctuary. A sanctuary is a place set aside for sacred things. It is a place of refuge and protection. This room is a sanctuary. One of the things Lent teaches us is that you, too, are a sanctuary. There is inside you a place for sacred things, a place where God abides. With your eyes still closed, enter this silence to be with God. I invite you to open your eyes and come back to the sanctuary. As we extinguish this light, we acknowledge our loss and separation from God when we do not take time to abide with God. 
Let us sing our response printed in the bulletin.